This video is about Cebu's famous street food. I'm here right now in Cebu's famous street food, which is the Ponko Ponko. Ponko Ponko is actually, for those foreigners that don't know, is only popular here in Cebu. It's originated here in Cebu. And so this is one of the common street food. But the most popular here in Cebu is the Ponko Ponko. This is how it works. You see there are groups of people. These are the sellers in every table. And as a customer, you have to find your space and you have to eat on the food that is offered in front of you. Asa ka dong? Dere ito. Or diha ba? So, as you see, we're offered everywhere where there is. So, like, people will have their own suki, which is their regular place to eat but each table is a different owner and a di although they cook the same kind of food mm. so this is the one that Sen is familiar with okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. so you have to choose the kind of food you want like here that's pork chop no? Oh, sorry, pork, chop. pork chop 60 for pork chop and then the flour fat mm. flour fat is 25 all the fried food and you eat it with hanging rice like this and there you are giving a sauce that's full of chilies and onions so that's how it works and the most famous place for this kind of street food is here in Puente Esmeña this is called the Ponco Ponco sa Puente there the chop the food that you choose you got the crab meat here that's the 40 pesos for the pork chop. Pila ang kanin. Lagang. So after eating, you start counting how much is your consumption. See, each person got a different number of consumption. So the owner, uh, the stall owner, which is this person with the big earrings. Mahal gidong, Tehek. <laughs> so, so each person will pay differently. You see, you see, you see, you see, so like. They all calculate that the three of them are professors in the University of Cebu. So they all like chip in together and one will pay, but each is calculated differently. So they will just pay the one that paid their stall owner in whole. So this is how the Ponko Ponko street food works. It's all pride. Hey, cinco ya poniron. Three for ten. Pila na? Three for twenty pesos. That's the Shanghai lumpia. Kaniga. 
Panam, kenang, kenang gurila, spleen, spleen. Kini pilih emang pilih kabuk kabuk kuah ni. Dua, dua kabuk meat. Tapi sila. Lain kalau kabuk meat mam. Jadi tu pesos for the crab meat. Kita tu usah, gamai mungkin usah ni, emang pilih kumbi. Pilih dah kumbi, pilih kumbi, pilih kumbi, pilih kumbi. Kini, hmm. The other one is small. Nalagi kau yang kini sah pilih ni, hamunada deh. Dog pesos. Gue yang wakai gue yang ni. Gue pilih gue yang mukul tu. Dalam dalam alirah mu. Kini. Nana, nak usara, usara tua. Now let's just add when it's luck. Yeah, the puso tapi la naron. Twelve pesos for the hanging rice. Oi. Ini senang ini telinga, ini senang ini dungan. Oi, ke unik ni mau earrings ke? Oi, ambik kuno tanawan na to. So I was wondering about his earrings. It's so big. Go insert. Di sakit dong. Eight years. Asa kuno dong petangi kapa kuno ko. Ola, oi, very good, mager god. Eight years, expand, expand, and you Maya. So like, you can see it's very popular. People will just come here behind Puente Osmeña. It's across the apple tree suites, and each table is a different owner. They're renting it like 500 pesos a day, and this is what's provided for them: a uh, table and chair, and they can sell. Their pungko pungko. So what is the rule? Is you just eat, but you have to know what you are eating. You eat it with um, plastic. They are not given any utensils, so you need to learn how to eat this with your plastic wrap hands. And then you take out a part of your pork chop, and then in your very spicy sauce. Mm. Nice. What many he what go? He what as a rabbi? Oh. Ini tu sangat pikas kan? Oi, bego. Ah. Bego hewa asal kalau paling bego. Gamai keng hewa gang. Dong, bintang ini tu betul. Lain, paling lain, lain kan bintang. So, unsang orang sama open diri. So, it's ten, um, six a.m. to ten p.m. So that's how early they do their food here. Nya magluto ni mo dong. Ang amo na ko ma. So luan na magdere mo. Ah. Saban na na magdere mo. Oh. He said he's not really the owner. He got a boss that provides for his wages. But some of these people are the owners, and they're the one cooking it overnight, and then he just bring it here at 6 a.m. So this two is having a date here. It's two couples that just arrived. I mean the couple that just arrived. You can also swap order drinks. There's someone that just sell drinks, soft drinks and water here. And each customer will just order it from the person that's managing the table. And they'll get it for you. Either you get it by liter or by individual drinks if sometimes families come here and eat together in one table so you can see there's a whole family in that table there and as customers go in the table handlers you know the one that manage each table We'll be calling the customer to go on their table. And then after you eat everything, that's when they calculate how much you eat. And of course, there are people that won't tell the truth. But I think they already calculated it that, that not everyone will tell you the truth how much they eat. 
how much they consume before and then just tell him the minimal amount Upat ka hanging, four hanging rice, upat, yeah, doha ka ginabot, doha ka pork chop, doha ka two crabs, crab meat, 16, then katong tulok ka sumpia, tulok ka lumpia, drink, yun na pala, doha ka drinks, yes, 288 for the both of us. So each table handler is fighting over customers coming in to where they can sit down. Look at them shouting. I was amazed here. It's the whole family eating. And they have upstairs as well accommodation. They're getting ready for the Fiesta of Cebu. And this is going to be so popular here during Sinulog. That's our grand parade. But it's going to be January is the Fiesta of Cebu celebration of the Santo Nino. And the Punko Punko will be so busy. That's why they have the second floor already ready. And if you see the other side, they have almost the same items. Let's have a look here. Preparehar ang yuday, no? Preparehar ang yuday mo mga pagkaon, no? Sabi na ko, glain-lain style ba? Glain-lain lang ito, Gia. Preparehar ang mali, Gia. Oh, lagi. The same food but different owners. Because I thought it's different design. Glain-lain sa ba? Nasa'y barbecue, barbecue. Uh, uh, so the barbecue is on the next stand here on the side so here you go this is the Punko Punko of Puente this apple tree sweets this is behind Puente Osmeña best Punko Punko people's choice so there was a survey that's done and this is the winner of the best Punko Punko by the People's Choice Best of Cebu 2018. And so again, they have won the Best of Cebu 2021 Best Punko 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 sa Puente. So that's why people come here without a lot of advertising people will just go by word of mouth where is the best street food which is Punko Punko which is known as the Cebuano street food it's here in Punko Punko sa Puente